Duncan Maynard has joined us, CEO of Wise. Thanks very much for coming on. Good to see you, man. Great to see you. Pleasure. I'm here with uh, John Furrier, my co-host. Good to see you. Uh, we first met at Citric Synergy. Yeah. We had uh, a great session. I had uh, I had uh, many people comment on that session. Who was that guy? <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> I, I have good context, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, it was really awesome, and uh, you know, you get a lot of energy. And uh, Dave and I were actually had a lot of energy after that interview because you got so much, you have so much energy, and we had to up our game just to kind of keep up with you. So we're you know try to get that same energy back. So uh, welcome, welcome back. It's great I, to be here. I've been thinking about you. I said this off camera all week, um, and the reason day is day and night. Well, not day and night, but a lot during the day <laughs> and sometimes during night because all this HP stuff going on. I yeah. said, wow. John made the comment, Dave, when have you ever seen a company who's number one in anything say, all right, we're getting out of this? What does that say about the PC era? And I'm thinking, wow. Over, over, baby. Wow. Better uh, than that. Do you need any more proof than that? Yeah, exactly. Holy cow. They're number one in the market, number one in the world in PCs. And they're saying, saying we we're done. Out. We're just going to just pack <laughs> so, up and go. But look, it's been a trend, right? IBM did this 10 years ago. IBM get out and, you know, What's pretty much. What's say about IBM's yeah, foresight? Well, exactly. <laughs> I mean, the, these guys, ex-IBM are, you know, kudos to Sam Palmisano and team. You know, but they did. They sold the business to Lenovo. They saw that China is taking over on the manufacturing side. There's no margin in that business. There's and that was no, a seamless there's no innovation. That was it's like, just a box. But know? there was no heartburn in the customer base. Absolutely. There was no absolutely. Like, big fan. But I'll tell you, it. sometimes better, you know, uh, later than never. And I think, I think, in a sense, HP is doing the right thing for themselves. Um, the good thing for us is we've been seeing this for a long time. We've been saying this for a long time. We said no PC. I mean, I mean, guys, I'm driving a car with no PC logos on it. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're against it. We're against the PC motto. Definitely, there are going to be users who are going to use PCs, but 80, 90% of the users are going to go to it. virtualized, thin devices, iPhones, iPads, Android devices, wise thin clients, wise thin devices, desktops, laptops. It's a reality. It's a reality. Hard disk is dead. Get it off your yeah, hard we've been disk. talking about that all week. Exactly. Spinning move, rust. Move your windows to the virtual world. Yeah. We're going virtual with windows and also web. What else do you need? Everything is thin. The, uh, the thing Cheaper, about the, better, you know? Yeah, but the, so the personal computer, as we know, the desktop, I've always said, you know, the desktop, chained to the, the desk. No one really stays at a desk anymore. People are mobile. SSD and flash are innovating, not only at the cloud stores, but at the, at the edge. So the edge is changing. So tell us, you deal with this every day, and you talk to customers, what is going on at the edge of the network for the worker and, and the consumer? Look, you just nailed it. At home, at work, on the go. Think about your life right now. Like yesterday, I was getting your Facebook things. All right, John at excess at 4 a.m. <laughs> right, all no. cloud based on Facebook. It's on the record. So many, many things. 345. Yeah, yeah, nice that's why there. my voice was shot yesterday. No, but seriously, I was in bed by, by 11. I, I, I was never at excess. <laughs> Did someone tag me? I was I never there. To your wife right now. <laughs> Privacy. So, but to make long story short, but think about it for a second. You have your desktop at home, and potentially a desktop PC at work today, right? And then you have you have your laptop, now you have an iPad, a tablet, and then maybe you have a smartphone or two like I do because I cannot type on the freaking iPhone. But when you think about the entire ecosystem of the devices that you're using, the PC is out. You replace your desktop PC with a desktop thin device. Think about a thin device today. PC, thousand bucks, thin client, two hundred dollars average. I have devices for fifty bucks. PC, three hundred watts, ten watts. I have devices now at two watts. 2 watts. Under 12 watts, there's no power cord. It's power over Ethernet. PC, dead in three years, purposefully designed. Right? Hard disk breaks every three years. Think line lives six, eight. I have customers using for 14 years. It's no brainer. It's no brainer that HP is getting out of the business. Okay, so, so, okay, so massive pushing down a commodity hardware. Exactly. That's a major trend. Obviously, you're in the middle of it. Two, the other explosion is going to be the consumers. The Absolutely. apps, the apps, the apps first, and then the consumer experience. Absolutely. So, so where is going on at the software layer, at virtualization you mentioned, but be specific. Give us some, some, some data on this. Per per perfect. So you have two types of applications today. We have Windows applications we still work on, right? I mean, it's not going away for, uh, for some time. We have the Windows applications and we have the web applications. Those are it. And all the applications we have on the native on these applications are also web-based, even though it's native, web-based applications in most cases. So in those two types of applications, virtualization handles the Windows type of story, and all the stuff you do through the browser handles the web side of the story. In this new world, there is no room 
for the PC. There's no need for the PC. Now imagine I have 10 devices running Linux, or an embedded system, Chrome OS, whatever that might be, browser inside, and on the top of the browser, there's some kind of a virtualization capability like VMware, Citrix, Microsoft, whatever that might be, connecting back to the Windows application. I have the best of the both worlds. Why do I need the hard disk, the fan, all the fat, the Windows running locally? I love Windows in the cloud. I don't need it. That's why we are here, 25,000 people at this event. Everybody is believing in that. So Tarkins, I got, I got to ask you, because you know, you're a dynamic uh, individual, leading-wise, a brand that was hanging around and going through a transformation, but there is so much passion at the consumer level for applications. People go crazy about Absolutely. Steve Jobs. And this is about passion. We are living in a transformation where the passion for the user experience, once you taste it, okay, they want more. So what is it going to take uh, to have passion all the way through that, that stack? Look, Speaking of passion, this is my passion. I love this device, even more than an iPad. My iPhone is, I make love to this device. I love this device. The reason I love this device is the form factor, the application, the user experience, the user delight, everything about it. Having said all this, it doesn't cut everything that I do. I still have business applications. I still have all those other applications. So I don't want to divide work from home. In my mind, in my life, I work at home, at work, and on the go. I'm completely connected. I'm on Facebook. You're my Facebook friend. Yes. My uh, board members are my Facebook friend. My customers are my Facebook friend. My family is my Facebook friend. My personal life and my professional life completely integrated. People are thinking that they're going to be integrated and disintegrated in these things. They're not going to be disintegrated, man. We are connected. They're all always. together. All together. As we move forward, this is the reason this is so powerful. We're bringing the web applications for consumer type of stuff and the Windows applications for work type of stuff all in together with WISE and partners like VMware, Citrix, Microsoft, Google, we're working together. All these partners are also coming together with Apple. And I don't know if you're watching what's going on on the you know, telco side today. Yeah. You know, the deal fell through with AT&T and, and the T-Mobile. I don't know if you're seeing the stock price of handheld devices. Handheld devices are you know, enjoying nice stock prices because there are more opportunities out there, more options kind of thing. So it's going to drive even more innovation for the, for the uh, consumer. Having said that, that consumer, you and me, we're consumers, but we, at the same time, we're professionals. So we need that combination, that fusion. That fusion is so important for us. That's the reason I think players like VMware, Wise, Citrix, Microsoft, Google are playing a huge role with oh, Apple. You're seeing the telcos up there, even. I mean, not telcos, but the consumer guys. Unbelievable. Right? I mean, it's yeah. unreal what's happening. You know why, why, why telcos up there? Because telcos are br bridging in the user from the work and from the home all together with yep. on the go. Well, and all the, coming together with the telco service. And, and with the mobility over the top with the, with the smartphone, absolutely, but for the telco, it's, the lines are already blurred. I mean, absolutely. I mean the, the data business on the, on the carriers is crazy. Absolutely. And, and there it is, they're living it. So the enterprises are now hitting that. Absolutely. What are the key um, disruptors that you're seeing or work in progress areas that need to get fixed faster? So look, on the, on the disruption side, I definitely see WISE is a big disruptor right now. Absolutely, against the PC, you saw what's going on with HP. They made the right choice, made the right decision. A little bit 10 years late, but you know, right decision. So, so hey, I, I disagree with that, that's, that's my opinion. Go ahead, yeah, Go ahead. So we'll, we'll talk about that later. I love it. Um, having said all this, having said all this, when you think about the virtualization and webification of the applications and infrastructure, there's a lot of stuff behind security and contextual intelligence. Huge innovation opportunity in contextual intelligence. Today, when you go to Google, you type Italy. It gives you seven billion results. Italian food, Italian restaurant, Italian club. It, ah, you want to go to vacation to Italy? Are you Italian? Do you want to learn Italian language? It doesn't understand who you are, where you are, when are you doing that search for, why are you doing the search, and how do you want the search to be tabulated in a result? That contextual intelligence today is not there. Imagine my personal life, my professional life, everything's coming together. Facebook, Google, Twitter, everything else, Wise, Apple, VMware, Citrix. When you need to think about all the applications, the system still do not know who we are, where we are, how are we doing the searches, what are we trying to accomplish. So all those questions, all those five W's and one how, the H, they're gonna all come together in the next three, four years. GPS systems today, you know, it shows you where you are, but it doesn't still tell you what kind of food you want and it still doesn't give you all the options what you can do. So think about Yelp as a service. Do you use Yelp? Yeah, yeah. I love, I love Yelp. the service. Love but Yelp. still, very limited. Think yeah. about this. Right. It's, it's been, been so gamed. Much more out of Yelp well, Yelp has been gamed. I mean, yeah. these things get gamed all Absolutely. the time. Absolutely. As we move forward, 
Just think about in, in business. Think about in business. Today, as I'm walking on New York Street, in, in New York, on a street, 34th and 1st, whatever the uh, location I am in, imagine a system. Salesforce.com, Google, Yelp, all connected, and it shows me where I am and where my customer is and what that, need, that they need. When I go to that system, it shows me that customer needs me, my services, and I have a problem with the customer, so I can call my service rep to fix that problem. All intelligent, contextual. That is the future. Huge opportunities there for innovation. There's a lot of money going into right now in contextual intelligence. Mm. Huge opportunity. We know that. Yeah. yeah. Of course. <laughs> so what's else all, all mean for your business? Give us an update, quick update on Look, Bottom line is, as fat is going away. Fat is going back to data center. Everything has to be clean, thin. My goal has been from the beginning, commoditize even myself. We're trying to commoditize this business to a level that we give away the box. Any box, give it away at, at no cost. But charge for the service, for the for the user delight, for the user service, for the user user happiness. Charge for that and monthly fee just becomes like a desktop as a service. A IT as a service, like a business as a service. So the businesses do not have to put all the infrastructure. So as we move forward, we're moving into a cloud client computing infrastructure management story, all yeah. web-based, any device, any user, anywhere, any app, we would love to be able to manage that and give those devices for you free. You service is sexy, John. Exactly. It's yeah. a service is angle. Yeah. Well, there's also software opportunities, so you can Absolutely. differentiate with real IP. Yeah. So all the IP battles going on, all patent things going on right now, but it's in software. Absolutely. And this so, is, this is basically know. software as a service in a sense. Yeah. Software as a service, but not necessarily one application. Think about right there. Like you have Workday, the application, great. HR application, software as a service. Salesforce.com, love it. Allah Mark Bader. Great stuff. You know, CRM as a service. Having said that, they are all silos. Imagine the entire business as a service. Yep, breaking down the silos. Hey, we talked about that all, all the time. time. Levi's. Absolutely. Yeah. And in the back end, in the back end, all those systems, all those layers, all those layer cake layers are being integrated into one thing, yeah. one blob. That's the future. Yeah, yeah. To make that. So tell us about what's going on uh, here at VMworld for you. Obviously, you get the booth, but the party tonight. Tell about the party tonight. Love it. Uh, uh, so this is a huge story. Uh, VMworld has been great for us, uh, as you know. Um, Tomorrow on Thursday, we have a big CIO summit. This is my seventh annual CIO summit at VMware. We're bringing about 400 CIOs and CEOs. We're bringing Mac Whitman, uh, uh, ex eBay uh, chairman CEO. We have Nick Carr, the famous Pluto written writer yeah. of uh, IT, doesn't, IT matter. doesn't Matter. Nick yeah. Switch, he's going to yeah. be there. We're bringing Vivek Kundra, who just who just left the U.S. government. Direct report to Obama, uh, our government CIO. Vivek Kundra yeah. is going to be there. We're bringing Paul Moritz. VMware CEO, Mark Templeton is flying down from uh, California, CEO of Citrix. Citrix yeah. They're bringing all these people, six panels, CEOs and CIOs, emerging markets, innovation deal, strategic deal, bankers, we brought in about 40 bankers. They're going to give us the story from a banking perspective, what's going on. Usually the bankers are you know, listening and taking notes and coming back to you and telling what to do. Now I want those guys to tell us what they're seeing in the market, IPO market, M&A yeah. market. Full day event tomorrow. Imitation only. You guys are invited. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Silicon Angle will be covering. Is it on the record? On the record. Come on, on the in record. The okay, so we'll send our top bloggers there, and uh, we'll rock on. How about tonight? Is it big Cosmopolitan? Tonight at hot, nine New Hot Hotel Correct. next to the Bellagio. At the Cosmo tonight at 9 p.m. We're having an event, a reception, bringing all these folks together, networking, exchanging cool ideas. VIP. You know these events. People, you know, make a big deal out of. At the end of the day, the event is for the audience, for them to come in, network, exchange cards, and build new ideas. That's you, the idea. You started yeah, this seven we, years ago. We started seven years ago, yeah. Yeah? And it's you, our seventh CIO summit. It's impressive you, you recruit all these people in. Did you do it personally or with your... No, I have the team, obviously. your charisma? Or we, have, we, have the, we have the best <laughs> That's team. Some big hitters. I mean. yeah, we have the best team in the world. Allison is right in the back. <laughs> our entire marketing team. Obviously, you know, we work as a team. Yeah. 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 No one person can do this by themselves. Look Absolutely. You guys have the best oh, no, team right we here. Got a great Absolutely. Team. Yeah. We, and we love having you. Talking to me, you're a pleasure to talk to. Dynamic. You have a lot of passion. I think that's going to translate directly through your organization. And that's if, if that does, you will have an absolute winner in your hands. You guys have got a great position, Thanks, and uh, congratulations. We'll see hey, you tonight. Thanks for taking the time to come by here. Absolutely, love you guys. Man of your word. Really love you guys. It. Thank you so much for yeah, the opportunity. Take care. All right, we'll see you tonight. Okay, you. that's you. a wrap from day three, Tarkin Maynard. Uh, we were at Citrix Synergy together, and he's rocking, Wise is transforming, and no PC. That's their number one message. All cloud, all software, all virtualization, and uh, HP that's got the, it right, just a little late. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> Todd. I don't know, John uh, agrees with that. <clears throat> okay. We'll talk about that That's a wrap tomorrow. for today, call it a wrap. Bye for now.